Fit to Love is physical, emotional, and spiritual fitness to achieve the happy life you deserve. From exercise to cooking, relationships, and spirituality, you'll find all the inspiration you need right here with our host, JJ Plazanes. Hello and welcome to Fit to Love Tasty Tuesdays, all about cooking, all about nutrition, and all about you. If there's something you'd like to see on the show, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us an email at info at invisiblefitness.com. Enjoy the show. Today's show, Bulletproof Coffee. So I did this because I believe it's a branded term, and you can go ahead and look it up online. I'm not gonna really go over what that all is. I'm gonna take the concept of Bulletproof Coffee and share that with you. So what is the concept of Bulletproof Coffee? Bulletproof Coffee was using organic beans, and adding healthy fats to have more sustainable energy, to eliminate the crash, and to help with increasing your metabolism, as well as brain function and nervous system function. Sound good? So the parts to Bulletproof Coffee is starting with organic coffee. And I have a really great brand of organic coffee that I bought up in Ohio for so, so those of you in California wanna get some organic coffee. But today, instead of using just regular organic coffee, I'm gonna use a brand called Tiemann's. Tiemann's is organic, but it's also infused with three different kinds of antioxidants, and it's a lower acid. So compared to other coffees, it's not gonna be as acidic in your body, and you're gonna get an infusion of a lot more antioxidants. So let's stop and talk about coffee just for a second. Is it healthy for you? Is it not healthy for you? You can probably find as much research saying coffee is not healthy for you as you could finding the coffee is healthy for you. However, the catch is the amount and the caffeine. Four to six ounces a day is probably fine and won't have a negative effect on you. But if you're a person that drinks a whole pot of coffee during the day, it's going to have an effect on your adrenals. Your adrenal glands are probably gonna not respond very well to all that overload of caffeine, not to mention it, coffee is a diuretic. So for every cup of coffee you drink, you probably need to replace two cups of water in order just to be back at balanced. So I would say have your coffee in moderation and again, aim for the healthiest kind of coffee you can find, which I'm gonna show you today. So we're gonna start off with brewed Tiemann's coffee with all these wonderful antioxidants in them. And we're gonna blend this coffee. That's one of the magic, magical things about it. I used to use creamer in my coffee before I went dairy-free. And then when I went dairy-free, I used So Delicious coconut cream, which is great, but it has some preservatives in it. And you're not gonna be able to travel with it all the time. And most people that you visit are not gonna have it. And some places don't carry it. So then what do you do? Well, when I found out about Bulletproof Coffee, most people have coconut oil and or butter but we're gonna go over what kind of butter is best for you. So go ahead and pour the coffee into your magic bullet container or whatever kind of, you can use a regular blender. Next, we're gonna have the choice of fat. Now you can use two kinds of fat. You can use one kind of fat. It's really up to you about what's available. And then there's also sort of the preferences. So here are the three choices of fats that I would recommend. First is grass-fed butter. Um, I'm using Organic Valley pasture butter. So organic grass-fed butter from Organic Farms has high CLA, which is actually a good fat. It's almost like healthy butter. And butter actually is pretty healthy. I could do a whole show on the benefits of butter, but for our purpose right now, just trust me, and you can do the research on your own. So organic grass-fed butter. You can use organic coconut oil. Now, you're probably thinking, I'm gonna put oil and butter in my coffee. Just wait, yes, coconut oil. Or my, my next thing to use is full-on coconut cream full, thick, full of fat, really great fats for, again, your brain, for your um, building your metabolism, for building the cell membranes to, for you to be able to absorb nutrients. So now what we're gonna do, for about two cups of coffee, we're gonna add about three to four tablespoons of butter and or oil. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter And because I love my full fat coconut cream, really, really thick, not coconut oil, coconut cream. I'm gonna add two heaping tablespoons of coconut cream. Okay, and then when I'm done with this, I'm gonna put this in a glass jar and put it in the refrigerator and use it over time, over the next week. So this is your basic cup of coffee that we're going to blend. Now, I like sweetener in it, and it is becoming fall, and sometimes I like flavored coffees. So at this point, you can go ahead and add either some vanilla 
or add some pumpkin pie spice or some cinnamon. And I'm gonna use coconut sugar, organic refined, unrefined coconut sugar, which is better on your blood sugar. It won't spike your blood sugar. It's lower glycemic and it's actually lower calories and it has a really cool flavor. So I don't use any kind of white processed sugar. I only use coconut sugar or honey or maple syrup. So I'm gonna add probably, because this is gonna be not all for me, um, about four teaspoons of sugar. Then we're gonna pop the top on for the magic bullet. Now make sure when you're doing this on a bullet or a ninja or a, um, a neutral bullet that you really tighten it because it's liquid and it could um, leak and you don't want to make a mess while you're making your morning coffee. Okay, so now, the, so now you notice that our coffee looks like it's a cappuccino. It's creamy, it's frothy. When I pour it into the glass, it's amazing. And then you can taste it and see if you want to add something more to it. But we took our normal coffee, put some butter, some coconut cream, a little bit of coconut sugar, and again, you can play with the flavors. So rather than buy the pumpkin pie spice coffee down the street, just add it to your own coffee. So as you're enjoying your new cup of JJ's version of Bulletproof Coffee, you're probably thinking, didn't she say she was dairy free and isn't butter dairy? Yes, butter comes from milk. However, when I'm talking about dairy free, I'm talking about the casein and the whey that's in the protein in dairy that most of us cannot digest properly because we don't have the same structure as a cow. We're, cows are much bigger than we are and we're not built the same and we're really not supposed to be eating and drinking the milk of another mammal. So butter in my world is not considered dairy because there is no protein, it's just the fat. So just in case you wanted to know, butter in my world is dairy free. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If this show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.